quote unquote. Um, and at the same time, Crystal admits to um, having a substance abuse problem, but ma they manage to have another baby, Jameson. Um, so they have two kids, and then the two kids went into foster care because both parents were messed up. Um, but a lot of people could have substance abuse problems. But that doesn't mean that they turn into killers, okay? Killers are just that way. They're violent. They're just born, either born that way or they become that way, and they just kill and hurt people. They just have a, uh, a history of hurting people. Aside from the drugs, usually most people like, a lot of people when they drink, yeah, you can get into trouble or you can get into fights easier if you're drinking or if you're doing drugs. Um, but some people are more relaxed and just easygoing, but you can't be that way. You can't be on drugs or alcohol when you have a family uh, to take care of. Okay. Oh. All right. So I think, all right. So then he gets, he shoots the person in the face. He gets out. He's back with Chris, Crystal. And then who God knows what happens. They break up. Um, <clears throat> does he go to jail after that? I don't know the time frame of the jail with the shooting in the face and all that. I just know about when 16, bringing the gun to school, high school, then uh, bringing his new girlfriend to the ex-girlfriend's house, breaking in and punching her in the face, then um, stabbing that guy in the leg and pushing him onto traffic. And I'm pretty sure, did that person die? I'm pretty sure that person died. The person that got shot in the face ended up living. Okay. But why was this guy awarded custody of this child, Harmony. Okay, now let's get into it. I'm so sorry. I didn't think it was going to take two videos, but it takes what it takes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, with these cards, <clears throat> of course, I brought my crime cards and I have done them before, but very, very, you know, quickly I did them because probably was going to work the next day and I bought my tarot cards and I also brought the fairy cards so I wanted to have like a nice mixture of several let me just see if I there was something I didn't say mom crystal said April 2019 Kevin the uncle Kevin he saw harmony with a black eye he heard uh, Adam told him directly that he uh, b chased her around the house and beating her up and gave her that black eye as if that was like an honorary thing to do. Um, Kevin called the police, which was good in July 2019. Police said there was a lot of messes around the house and they were using a generator because uh, they were they had no electricity. They were also squatting in several locations. They lived um <clears throat> two two addresses 77 Guilford and um Lake Drive um nothing was done okay so Crystal is saying okay I think I said all of this Adam taking Harmony okay yeah so they said where is Harmony so Adam said, I don't know. I took her to Crystal uh, for Thanksgiving, and that was the last I saw of her. So then after that, you never tried to find out where she was. You, she, you had custody. Crystal had no, no custody at all. She lost all the rights to both Jameson and Harmony. So why would you drop her off and never pick her up and never file anything? See, it's a bunch of BS. You really must think we're stupid. Okay. Um, and then the whole family moved out of 
this the house that they were like kind of squatting in um, December 2nd and they lived in cars um, yeah I just was trying to see if there was something else January 11th January 12th 2020 Grandma says that this up to December 6th, she thinks that she saw Harmony, but I'm not, I'm not 100% on Grandma's side either. Um, word on the street is that they're going to take all three kids away from Grandma. We'll see. Um, Adam left the door open to air out an odor. Cops were called January 11th, 2020. Adam returned and went to move. Maybe he went to move something. Okay, allegedly. Okay, so let's see. I'm asking. I'm going to ask the crime cards and my guardian angels, and my spirit guides, namely Gannon, Blue Boy Gannon. Would you please help us and Tylee, please help us and help me to see in my mind and on the cards what happened to Harmony Montgomery. What happened to Harmony Montgomery? Please, dear God, please, spirit guides, please help me to be open and receptive to receive messages and words, clairsentience, clairaudience and have full protection at the same time from all the guardian angels, all the archangels, especially Archangel Michael and Gabriel. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Gannon and Shanann, Shanann, please help me with this little girl. I know you always help me with everything. And I, I've been thinking about you lately so much. And I keep on hearing Colorado, Colorado Mountains, Colorado, Suzanne, Shanann. Please help me on anything, any kind of clues about what happened. Where is Harmony Montgomery? Where can we find Harmony Montgomery? Don't go far from the house. Okay, I just heard that. Don't go far from the house. The last house that Harmony was in that she lived in. The last house that Harmony lived in and also the two cars. The two cars that they owned or were squatting in or living in after that. There's evidence on in one of the cars or both of the cars. Uh, show me a, a, a silvery car. Small silvery car. Might be like a little blood, a little DNA, hair. Bring the cadaver dogs in there. Definitely. Threw out all her stuff. They threw out all her stuff. Where would we find her stuff? Where would we find Harmony's things? That card just jumped out. Okay, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Mommy and Daddy, Shanann and Gannon, Shanann and Gannon, Shanann and Gannon, please help me to find Harmony. What happened to Harmony? Where can we find Harmony? Light the incense. I'm sorry, they want me to light the incense. How many cards do you want me to put out after I light the incense? And she would be seven now. Then put out seven. Seven or eight is good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. They just want me to light this, so I'm gonna light this, guys. Um. Actually. I don't know why it, it gets like maybe because I leave this this in the car and it gets like very uh, it's hard to light it after the first light. 
It's like resistant to light. So it's okay, because I have Palo Santo I could light up too. You like this oak? Harmony, let us know if you're in, in the water, by the water, in the tree, by, you know, by a tree, pots of wood placed on top. Last time, if you remember, if you didn't see my video on Harmony, not the dream, that'll scare you. The dream was sad. Um, but if you didn't see the first video where I laid out some cards, I kept getting the plastic container. I got that several times. I got the knife several times. So in other words, I feel like there was torture involved with her, like every time saying, and, and, and Kayla knows, stepmother definitely knows. Um, I don't feel that she loved Harmony. I don't feel she is remorseful about anything except that she wants to be out of jail, okay? Um, both Adam and, and Kayla were with different people. Even though they're still legally married, they were estranged, estranged from each other and were with different people. He had a girlfriend, another girlfriend. Which I don't know who would date that, probably just uh, somebody with drugs, addictions, and she was with somebody too. She has a boyfriend, too. So, what does that mean? Something happened in 2019 where, where that caused them to not be together anymore. Or were they together just for, like, a couple of weeks in 2020? And because of their secret or their knowledge of Harmony, what happened to Harmony, did they, you know, split up with their secrets intact? Oh, this isn't staying lit, so... Alright, I can't wait any longer. Okay, on the bottom of the deck is one to three. Weeks or months? Well... I'm just putting those down over here. Oh, don't spill, don't spill. Okay. I'm sorry if I keep on, like, trying to light things, and I'm not trying to keep you like, oh, why doesn't you just turn the cards over? I, I do what I'm told in my head from my spirit guides, and they just, before I turn them over, they want me to have this, the Palo Santo up in this bitch, so... That's for my protection and maybe your protection as well. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Guys, for being with me. Thank you, dear God, for always protecting me. Thank you, Archangels. And thank you, um, Spirits who have passed on and still continue to guide me. Now, I told you that Harmony loves music. And what I hear is like, ah, like Ave, Ave Maria. Um, and it's really beautiful. And I see her and she's like, there's no glasses in heaven. Nobody wears glasses in heaven, Katrina. You can see everything so beautifully, so up close. She says she communicates with her little brother. And that might have been a point of contention when she was with living with Adam. She would talk about her brother. And he has like no attachment to these children that he has. He doesn't have any attachment to them. And he didn't like that she would say that she's talking to a little brother. He would say... This is your only family over here. These kids, the kids that he made with Kayla. So she was actually talking to him. And probably, I mean, I don't know if uh, J 
Jameson's um, new family that adopted him, watch this, watch me. Um, but if you do, know that Jameson do definitely does communicate with Harmony. They have a very strong bond. It's really beautiful. So just be understanding if he does say that he sees her or that he talks to her. Okay. This is the card that jumped out. Was somebody trying to commit suicide or will they try to commit suicide if they do get out? Pills or drinking or both. Okay, this one it says some sort of storage tank or tornado shelter or wa water or oil tank. But what I'm seeing in my head Okay. I'm seeing like a dumpster maybe a garbage like a land. You know when you go to if you see a landfill and they have like this big tank like metal tanks that they do, I don't know, liquefied solid objects, they liquefy it, something like that. I don't know what they do, but that's what they're showing me. And they're showing me like a metal fence around it. Could be a clue because he got rid of her clothes, her toys, anything that would be her. He didn't want the other kids playing with it. He got rid of it. And some of it, he got rid of it in front of her. In other words, I'm taking all these things. I don't want to get started. I don't want to. Please protect me, guides. I don't want to feel that pain again. Please protect me with white light. Divine. Protect me against anything that negative that happened to the, this child or any of the children. I don't want to feel that pain, but just show me the pictures to help me. Everything in the white light of Jesus, thank you. Okay, places that might be important because they have cameras. Um, it says either school, stores, and fast food. Was she in school? Was she ever enrolled in school? That is really important. What was, If she was indeed enrolled in school, what was the last date of her attending school? And why did not, why didn't the system ever check on her? Even if she moved, even if they moved from uh, Boston to New Hampshire or somewhere in Massachusetts. Um, but this is saying like fast food, burger joint, um, stores have the cameras or have them in the parking lot or have them without her in the parking lot okay and the dates could be checked somebody definitely saw something and hopefully they're gonna come oh what did i say before they showed me evidence is in a car truck or van okay evidence like blood hair that dna from beautiful harmony okay that looks like a silver car i saw a silver car being important okay um rural near farmland Okay, I did get this before. Then I say, where can we find her? They are pointing still northeast. Not far from that house. They said, not far from that house. So you're going to get the evidence. Um, I know that they dug up 
they dug up evidence in that house. I wonder if they checked the grandmother's house. Um, but there, there was some uh, area that was frozen that they needed to go back when it's not frozen. Okay. Remember, I said, what happened to Harmony? I didn't feel, I didn't feel burned, her burned. I felt like, um, put somewhere and buried and then moved, uh, and then put somewhere else outside, definitely outside first inside, then outside. Uh, but I feel like, um, something was burned, like maybe soiled or bloody clothes were burned, not just thrown away, burned. Um, something was burned. Some kind of evidence was burned. But I felt like as if she was outside and like buried. And a lot of my friends, especially um, uh, Ruby, um, just a Texas medium, and also, Genocide has done several videos on it, and so has Ruby. Um, they believe water, that she was put in water. I wasn't getting, I did get one card for the water, but we'll see. We'll see. Six to 12 months, which I don't understand 100% what it means because... She's gone, but six to 12 months, something with six to 12 months. It happened during the first six to 12 months. Yeah, she's showing me her fifth birthday. <coughs> it wasn't nice, it wasn't nice. Then I got this card by a B&B, by a motel or a hotel or a B&B. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Oh, God. This is so hard to do in the car. Okay, but I do it for I do do it for any anything for you, sweetheart. Okay. So, please, angels, I'm going to put the heat on again because now it's getting cold. Seriously. Please, angels, spirit guides. Harmony, if you can hear me, if you're in, or the spirit guides of Harmony, even if she's alive, can you let us know where she is? Can you help us to find where she is? Okay, I'm only going to pick three cards. All right. Harmony, Montgomery. Harmony, Montgomery. Harmony, Montgomery. Thank you. Wow, they got so cold. The cards got cold. Harmony Montgomery. Just want to make sure that I'm this one just laying out. Okay. I don't know if that was just laying out, so I'm just gonna put that back in. Where what happened to Harmony Montgomery? Please, dear God, please spirit guides, let us know what happened. To Harmony Montgomery, please help us to find her. Harmony Montgomery, we love her. We love you, sweetheart. And thank you, guides. Thank you, Shanann. And Gannon, I feel your energy. Blue boy. Thank you for always helping me on all the cases. Gannon's like, 
We'll do it together, Katrina. No worries. We'll do it together. It's my, it's my string. Guys, I, I always need these because I throw away a box. Well, this didn't come in a box. This, these are my homemade cards. But I throw away the boxes on everything because I'm trying to be neater. Okay. Time frame. Age. Something happened at that age. Holy crap. Holy crap. Thank you so much. Time frame, age, something happened at that age between five and seven years. Well, we know, I told you what I heard in my head. She said to me, Katrina, I didn't get, I had, a, uh, I got to five. I didn't have a, um, I didn't get to seven. I didn't get to six. I didn't get to seven. I didn't have those birthdays. So she just had, so it happened before she was seven, of course, between five and seven, that's when it happened. Something happened. We know this. That's why she's not here. But everybody doesn't just get gone. She is somewhere. And they're showing me Northeast and they're saying, it, not far from the house, you're gonna get the clues in the car, specifically the silver one. The, the cadaver dogs have to go to her. But the thing is, how do they, if they don't have anything that she wore, maybe Crystal still has something of hers. And she's talking about a rabbit, but she's calling it a wabbit. All right, so they said don't try to figure everything out. Just absorb it. Just let it go. Let it, let it come out. Distinct scratches or tats. Wonder who that is. That's where you find the answer. Near a highway. I know that sounds general, but, you know... I'm doing the best I can, guys. Uh. All right. Thank you, guys. And I'm going to look at the other cards real quick. My tarot cards. Because I never did the tarot cards on it. Okay. Now it's too hot. <laughs> Versus. Okay, angels and spirit guides, please. Especially Ganon and Shanann, please help me to find answers through the cards and put the messages in my mind. Let me hear words. Let me hear and see anything that has to do with Harmony, Montgomery, where she is right now. Where is her physical body? Where can we find Harmony, Montgomery? Thank you, dear God. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, Shanann and Gannon, especially. Just doing eight. All right. Okay, so I got a King of Cups, which is a man over 25 years old, blue eyes, fair or brown hair. 
gentle, emotional, okay? I don't know what color eyes Adam has. Okay, I know Harmony has blue eyes. Maybe her mom has blue eyes. Um, anyhow, this is a man that's around her. Could this be Uncle Kevin? Because this person is very fair, emotional. And now the Uncle Kevin came on. He did several news shows where he talked about how he was very worried about Harmony. He witnessed her with a black eye. He called CPS or the police and they came, uh, I don't know if CPS came, but the police came and, and decided it was fine. Okay, why? Anyhow, I don't know if you could see that card. Okay, any other messages? Now, the question was, where is she? All right, so maybe that that man, over 25, might have some help to, to the case. I don't feel like that was Adam because I got a, a good feel on him. Let me, let me touch it again. What does this card have to do with it? What, who is this man? He saw things. So it could be the uncle. They, they just showed me somebody in a store saw the family when she was alive. And then he, he felt worried for her. And like he's a cashier in a store, like a 7-Eleven type thing. And that's what they're showing me. And then he felt worried for her like he saw her being treated differently than the rest of the family and then the next time they came in the store she wasn't there and he didn't see her again he didn't know what to do because you know so many people come in the store um i ask that the, to the spirit guides please get in this person's conscience to go to the police and just tell them everything that you know. Even though you think it doesn't matter, it really will. Because maybe there is the cameras, you know, you could figure on when, what year that was. Or you could figure, you could give some kind of information that to the police for the investigation. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I felt good, good energy. Um, not, you know, th this is the nine of wands, which means, oh, I can't see. Undecided. Need to take a step out of the strip. The situation. Then you will see clearly. Okay. See, you guys can't even see the cards. That's the closest I could show you. Okay, this is like all the stress is behind you and you have to go somewhere, but you don't even know how to proceed. So this is, who's this in reference to? Hmm. Okay. They're showing me like the two people who are behind bars right now. And there is other information. There is witnesses. But people are scared. They're so scared because Adam is a violent guy. I described to you what happened from dating back to age 15, 16. All the things he did. Okay? Why he was out of jail and running around is beyond me. Anyway. Okay. So... The two people behind bars are Adam and Kayla. Kayla, you better choose right. You better choose right. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to be back in prison for a very long time. Okay. Another thing that bothers me, that they were, they were trying to say, her lawyer was trying to say, 
oh, well, she doesn't have a really a record. Um, you know, she's been pretty outstanding person. Yeah, very outstanding. Um, so, you know, he was saying all the reasons why she should be released with bail. Um, but then, uh, what was the point? Oh, I forgot. Uh, let me just let me just do the read. I'll remember it later. It just gets my blood boiling. Okay, five of swords is lessons. Um, I'm sorry, losses. All is not lost as you are still have three swords remaining, giving you the upper hand. Okay. All right. So. See how this person is holding all these swords, but kind of looking down like, oh, you know, they fought that person. They fought this person. All right. So obviously there, there are a few people that are very close to this case, involved in this case. And Crystal also has been very cooperative and maybe, you know, she might help to crack it. I mean, she knows Adam. Uh, she's trying to find her daughter even though, you know, she knows she wasn't the best parent, but she fixed her, um, she's trying to deal with her addictions. She went through the program. Um, and she's saying, no, we're not just going to move on with life and my daughter be missing forever. Somebody has to be accountable. Okay. So, okay. I just heard Jeff like a Jeffrey, I don't know if that's the first name or a last name. Is it Mr. Jeffries? Okay. I feel like there's a private detective and if there isn't, they should definitely get a private detective. Um, yeah, it's like these people. Oh, oh, okay. Um, there's some people who are addicted to meth and maybe other substances, and they know a lot. They have to come. They have to come forward. Um, but they're scared because they have, they're in the midst of a, a very strong addiction. Um, but, okay, so what they're saying is like, what my point earlier when I was saying, you know, a lot of people have, are, you know, they have an addiction to alcohol or the addiction to drugs, but that doesn't make them murderers. That doesn't make them violent criminals. Okay. Um, so there's like a lot of people who are addicted to drugs in this circle of Adam, Kayla, Crystal, you know, of, of all the, the circles in the last intensely in the last four years because they said four I held up four fingers so what is that dating back to 2017 2019 all right 2018 2018 19 20 21 20 yeah so 2018 and 2019 and then 2020 2021 and up to present okay so they are addicted to meth and other stuff, but they know Crystal, not Crystal. They know Kayla and Adam, and they're very, is it the girlfriend? Uh, I hope the police have talked to the girlfriend of Adam that he was currently with and Kayla's boyfriend that she was living in the car with. Okay, I'm sure they have. I'm sure the police have. But there's also another circle of people that they bought from. They bought their drugs from. And they know. Um, they could have even squatted in the house. Some other people or other readers were saying that they think maybe somebody else that was squatting in the same house as Adam and Kayla and the kids maybe did something to Harmony. I'm not going to rule that out, but I don't feel that. I don't feel that way. I feel like, like, oh, they're saying maybe she was sold. I don't, I'm not ruling it out, but I don't feel, I feel like over. 
she made the transition. She's, she was killed. It was like a, a violent temple, like my dream.